Hi everyone, it's Allie. Welcome back to my channel. Today is day two for Under the Sea Hop. Um, I am going to do another slimline card for you. And my little kitty had to be in the shot again. <laughs> I am going to be using the Whimsy Stamp Slimline Waves die. And I have to show you here my new Jane Davenport Spellbinders machine. I bought it not too long ago um, to replace my old white and gold Spellbinders machine. And I love it. It's so pretty. Um, I love those mermaids and all the under the sea on there. So it was fitting for this. So I just wanted to show you there. Um, that die is very long. And I haven't measured it yet against the other slimline dies, but this one, I had a hard time getting it through my machine. So if you have the extended plates, I would highly recommend those or um, purchasing those if you're going to be doing a lot of slimline cards and have the dies. Um, I had to kind of put the die diagonal because it's very hard to run it through um, straight on, especially that large of a die. So I just wanted to show you to that real quick and then I popped out the middles there. I'm going to keep the um, the outline part white and then I'm going to color up the insides there. And I just picked um, a bunch of Distressed Oxide inks that I thought would go with those mermaids off to the right side there. I colored those, man, a long time ago now. Um, they are from a Crafton Divas stamp set. Um, I don't know if you can get them any longer. You would probably have to look into some Facebook groups. I actually sold my set um, Oh, probably six months ago, um, if not longer. But I had these images left over, and I thought it would be the perfect time to go ahead and use those up. Um, but you can use any images, you know, not even mermaids, but any under the sea for a card like this. It was so easy to do, and I think it just comes out so pretty. Um, you can use these if you need multiple cards. Um, you really don't need much on it or just put like a sentiment and some jewels on it and it would even be pretty just with that on it. So I will put down in the description box the colors that I used to blend. I did use my scrapbook.com blender and my tailored expressions blender, blenders I should say, um, just to go ahead and match. And... The ones that I used for this was Wilted Violet, Seedless Preserves, Faded Jeans, Mermaid Lagoon, Salty Ocean, and Broken China. I used my Catherine Pooler White Cardstock. And then that, I mean, that is basically it. I used my inks since they were colored up already. It was such an easy card to do. And I'm going to also pull out then my little... Um, Little Ranger Mini Mister. And I haven't bought the big one, like the Tim Holtz Mister. Mister. Um, usually what I do is just spray some in the palm of my hand. And I just throw those on there if I want bigger drops. And then I'll just use the Mister if I want small. And then I'm going to grab one of my trusty burp wraps <laughs> there. I still have many burp rags, so uh, this is a good way for me to use them. So I went ahead and just um, glued everything down, and I used a little Scotch 3M foam tape on my images, and then I'm going to use the Versamark Nocturne ink, and I'm going to stamp my sentiment there. Since I did not have that stamp set anymore, I had to use um, 
another set just to get a sentiment. So I ended up pulling out my La La Land Mermaid Princess Marcy for the sentiment. And here's an extra little picture because my kitty did not want to move. <laughs> I thought he looked so cute there. So I also have a bonus card. So this one is another card that I had the images already colored up. These are from Stampin' Bella. I am. I apologize for my dog in the background. He is yelling at my daughter. <laughs> so I use the Hero Arts Fish and Bubbles Confetti Die. And I ran that through with some very old glitter paper um, that I had in my stash from Michael's. I, I think that glitter paper is probably 10 years older or more. Um, and then I just backed it with Not So Navy cardstock from Stampin' Up. And I just glued down all my images. Those images were very difficult to cut out. Um, so if you do buy that, I would recommend looking into if they have a die. Even the mermaid was very hard to cut out. It's very thin lines. And that is very difficult. So I, in between her arms, um, and then her like n neck, shoulder area, and head, and also the fish. I colored that to match the background of the card. It's a little bit darker than what I colored her just so you wouldn't readily notice that I did not cut those sections out. I will do that from time to time when I have a section I can't cut out and I don't have the die. And I think it looks fine. If you're not looking for it, I don't think you would notice it. And then I glued down um, some bubble bath flat back bead mix from Trinity. And there's my cards. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow for the next card. Bye-bye.